So hello good people of the internet, it is I, Tommy Kelly, and this is Adventures in Wubu. And in this episode, I'm going to be opening this box from Brazil. Hello Riggs the Cat. You haven't been on the videos much. Riggs the Cat's not doing very well. He has lost the power in it to, to move his back legs. And he's temporarily paralyzed. And he has some of his skin missing too, or his fur. But as you can hear, he's still purring away. He's in good form. Basically what happens is I ran him over with my car on Monday, which is uh, four days ago, five days ago, something like that. But the vet is very optimistic. He has um, some swelling on his spine, which is stopping him from being able to use his legs. But uh, he's already starting to have a bit of feeling back in him and you can see him moving him a wee bit. He's still dragging his legs around behind him. But uh, hopefully he'll come around soon. It's an interesting kind of thing because my last cat also lost the power in her back two legs. And uh, so I don't know what karma situation is going on with my cats whatsoever. Um, but uh, hopefully Briggs, the cat, uh, pulls through very quick. Anyway, on with the, the main gist of the show. Os Quaranta Servidores. Am I even pronouncing that right? Hard to know. <laughs> so cool. Let's have a look. Oh, they're nice. The matte finish. I really like the matte finish. Oh, yes. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. Look at this. There it is. The pennant. Let me get this out. This is the thing I really wanted. So look at this. Are we focused? 40 Servants coin with the protector sigil on it. How just unbelievably amazing is that? Um, oh, and there's a lovely weight to it. I'm going to leave it in the packet, actually. Um, that's something I definitely feel I will be carrying around with me or making some magical use of. That is just so awesome. Delighted. Bookmarks and stuff. Excellent, though. A notepad. Oh, look at that. It has the 47 thing on it. Excellent. And then uh, that'll definitely be used as a, as, excuse me, as a magical diary. Or maybe it won't. It just seems too perfect to actually use. And then of course, the books. Oh wow, so sexy. A hardback version. I am a, uh, well, it's on the list of doing things, of getting a hardback version of uh, the English Grimoire. But, uh, that list is getting quite long now, but we'll get to them eventually. Look at that. I feel very tempted to leave them all in the packaging, or in the plastic. That's the old comic collector in me, I suppose. Um, so yeah, wow, super delighted. Yeah, so getting everything in. So how amazing is that? I always get a bit um, both excited and nervous when I get uh, the hard copies of any of the stuff I've done, going back to the, the comic days and all that, because you never really truly know what it's going to look like when it's printed, because there's so many variables involved from computer screen, the printing presses, and the print um, can look so different on someone else's printer and someone else's computer screen and all those things. But I'm delighted with this. They are, um, they're un unique enough 
to be their own kind of thing that they're not you know not just kind of like um, copies of the American or the English one what you know the English printing English language printing they're definitely their own style and their own kind of feel and their own um, energy to them which is super exciting so I'm delighted I'm so happy that uh, Forest servants are so big in Brazil. It's just, it's mind blowing. And it's uh, not something I literally ever would have dreamt of or anything I'm, like the people in another country would uh, be so into something that I did, but um, it's wonderful. And getting getting your hands on your, uh, your own stuff in a different language is very, very special. And I'm so happy with this. This is the thing I'm most excited about. I think it's awesome. I think it's very magical. Anyway, os quarenta servidores. That's my brutal attempt at some Portuguese. So until next time, good people of the internet, be well.